Tarmac. Today I've got my hands on the 2021 Honda Civic Type R. It's been revised, upgraded, modernized, and it's ready to rock and roll. Come, let's take a closer look. Okay, so cards on the table. I am a bit of a fan of the Civic Type R. And not necessarily for the reasons that you may think. Basically, the Civic Type R, or Honda Civic Type R, it was or is manufactured in Swindon. Swindon's my hometown, so I've got this actual affinity with the brand and with the with the actual model. I've actually seen it being made. Well, the 2017 model. That being said, the car itself, or the 2017 model, really did come with critical acclaim. I mean, it it merges that bit of uh, performance car with everyday practicality so it's kind of a, a mixture of both I mean it's practical if you like quite a hard ride and a manual gearbox but you know don't we just love manual gearboxes then there's the fact that it's quite polarizing in its look I mean it's so very removed from the um, the Honda brand look normally it's out there it's full of angles and full of drama you know quite away from the the conservative look that uh, Honda seems to be going for has been going for over the, the last little while but then it does live up to that type R look you know it's, it's angry it's aggressive it's got all that sort of fun driving stuff looking to it and this 2021 model is no different They've tweaked things as far as the design goes. I mean, first off, you can't get past this Boost Blue, which is a new color. It's it's a standout, particularly when you add in the reds and the, the black accents all around. Very, very cool. The bumpers have had some extra treatment, both front and rear. They've got these body colored blades in them and, you know, really make it stand out just that much further. The grille itself is 13% larger, which then floods that VTEC engine with extra air to help it gulp down, which is just what you want. As far as the VTEC goes, 233 kilowatts, 400 newton meters of torque. I mean, that's plenty. Well, actually, it's more than plenty, particularly because the that sort of power and stuff is all up high. You really get that extra boost when you're going along. It's very awesome. Also up front is a new spoiler. The uh, It's more pronounced, more, more sharper, more sharper rather than more sharper. And just it really sets off that front, gives it a, more of an angry look as if it needed it. It's very cool. The brakes have been upgraded, so there's the uh, rotors are now two part, so that gets rid of any brake fade or reduces any uh, brake fade, which is you know just what you want when you're going quick to be able to stop. And all around, you know, still got that polarizing big spoiler on the back, and everything else is cool. The interior has been messed with as well, so you've got Alcantara steering wheel, which feels great under. Uh, great to touch really cool the screen's been chained it's more in keeping with the modern Honda family now it's also got a, uh, a data logger app which you pair with your phone and you can try out your driving and see how well you're driving I haven't done that because I don't want to be proved how bad I am the the gear stick is now changed so it's now a big nod to the EK9. It's also got a 90 gram uh, counterweight under it, which just helps with that crisp feeling of the gearbox changing. It also still rev blips on the way down. <laughs> I love it. It's very, very awesome. The, the rest of the feel is, I don't know if you've driven the old one, <laughs> old one, 2017, then uh, then you'll you'll know it. The seats are very comfortable yet firm and also great for when you're going to be coming around corners at speed which you're going to want to be doing in this car there are some hard plastics around which you know you'd expect in a mass production car um, even from Swindon and the reversing camera is not fantastic particularly in the rain it just it just 
I don't know, the, the rain just accumulates on it. And also the turning circle is not fabulous. But all of that stuff is really easily forgiven because this car drives. It's a driver's car. It, oh, you put your foot down and you play. It wants to go fast. It wants to go in the direction you're pointing. And boy, does it. The suspension's been upgraded too, so the the dampers are now quicker to respond. So if you want to go into comfort, it's softer. Go into sport, it's that much harder. And also <laughs> Type R, which is <laughs> the area you want to be into, very very great. The bushes have been stiffened front and rear, and also the lower friction ball on the steering has been. Uh, given less friction, so it's just a much better feel to the steering It's particularly well weighted as you get faster and um, I don't know. It's just a really nice feel about the whole thing But overall This is the car you just want to drive and you want to put that foot down At any given moment and let those revs ride really high the downshifting blip is very cool. It's, uh, <laughs> it raises the revs to make sure that you slot the gear in beautifully. It's a bit like a heel toe driving. So when you're going near a corner, it blips, you get the gear in nicely. And you know, it makes you feel like a professional driver. <laughs> if only, nice. So there you have it, the 2021 Honda Civic Type R, proof that good looking sporty things do come from Swindon. It's not just me. Anyway, this is a much more refined, much, I don't know, sturdier drive. It brakes well, it corners well, the suspension feels right. And you know, those, those cosmetic tweaks really do make a difference. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, it's somewhere around here. And you know, Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>